Hey, what's good, Jazz fans? Another game for the Utah Jazz kicks off tonight in Minnesota. The Jazz begin a three-game road trip. We're going to get you prepared for everything you want to look for in tonight's game. Let's jabber some Jazz. Okay, so the Jazz take on the Timberwolves tonight in Minnesota at 6 p.m. What are we looking for in this game? Well, it's the first time that former Jazz man Rudy Gobert will face his former squad. And similarly, we have Jared Vanderbilt and Malik Beasley that will square off against the Minnesota Timberwolves for the first time. So a lot of storylines, a lot of intrigue. I'm sure all three of those players are going to be wanting to play extremely well. But the wrinkle that I'm most interested in is what happened in the first Minnesota game primarily in which Rudy Gobert was really featured on offense. You'll see in the graphics here that Rudy Gobert took 15 shots. Uh, the most that he's taken in the last two seasons, his high was 14 shots in a game. In the first game that he played with Minnesota, 15 shots. It's kind of a big deal. And similarly, if you look at the overall touches, he had a big, big increase over the average amount of touches he got last year for the Utah Jazz in his first game in Minnesota. It's pretty clear he's a featured member of the offense. And with the Jazz not having any rim protection to speak of, in the first game of the regular season, the Denver Nuggets scored at will in the paint. That, that was how they kept the game close for so long. So against the Minnesota Timberwolves tonight, the Jazz are going to have their hands full with Rudy Gobert keeping him off the rim. He's so efficient, and with this kind of volume, it's going to be really hard to compensate. And the way that we can counteract that is going to be similar in the in the Denver game is that we get out in transition and get some easy buckets. But those two are going to depend on each other. We're going to need to disrupt the actions of Gobert to the rim, get those steals early, and get out in transition. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be interesting to see what the Jazz do, see how Rudy Gobert looks, and our new look Jazz compared to what, again, in back-to-back -back games, the Jazz are going up against projected top teams for the West, it'll be interesting to see how the Jazz fare, likely without quite as drastic shooting luck as they got last time. Well, thanks so much. Hopefully you've enjoyed this preview and what to look for in this upcoming game versus the Jazz. 6 o'clock tonight in Minnesota, the Utah Jazz take on the Timberwolves. Let's jabber jazz.